Uh, did there come a point in time that uh, you retrieved any phones from that room? No. So, and at this time, I had my phone, my mom's phone, and Garrett's phone. How'd you get all the phones? The officers handed it to me when they left the house. What happened was she, the daughter, was on the phone with 911. So she had a phone, and it had blood on it, and it was someone else's phone because I think she had her own. So she had. There, there were phones, but I, I grabbed one because it was dispatched. And I was like, you can hang up because I'm here. But I, other than that, I didn't handle any more phones at the house. She states that you handed her two phones, one being her mom's and one being my client's. As, as AMR was leaving, you handed the phones over to her? I don't recall that. Is it possible that you just don't have a recollection? Did you understand that the phone belonged to my client and not to Skylar? No, because when I had last contacted Skylar in that family room, she was telling me that Garrett was calling her mother's phone and that she was talking to Garrett with her mother's phone. So I had no idea where Garrett's phone was. And uh, whose phone did you think you had taken possession of? I thought it was Garrett's phone. And what led you to believe at that point that it was Garrett's phone? Because after she had played it, I had asked, where did, who... I asked her to explain like, what this was and whose phone it was, and so she said it was Garrett's and that she had it and she saw something on it and was, went through it. And when, um, when, when Skylar came up to, to at the hospital, she announced to you that she had Garrett's phone, that you needed to see Garrett's phone. Is that correct? She could have said that. I, I don't remember. I just remember her trying to talk to mom and then her coming in and her saying something about you have to listen to this and I was a little confused because I wasn't sure how she could have known or where how she could have gotten her you know so um, and it happened quite quickly so once I was processing the information that she was giving me she was playing it and I was like oh okay well that's important so I'm gonna need it. Point. Skylar indicated there's something that she thought the officer should listen to as soon as the officer realized that it was something of importance to the case she didn't replay it she didn't fiddle with the phone. She seized it, gave it to Detective Aldridge, who then got an appropriate warrant, which is exactly what should have happened and what did happen, pardon me, in the case.